Hello everybody and welcome back to You Got Five Minutes. Today's game is Stray Cat Crossing. I just like the the art style of this game, to be honest. Uh, this is post commentary, by the way. Today, uh, the the next uh, th this this next week, I'm going to be trying to do post commentary over it. Just uh, you know, so I can kind of gather my thoughts. So yeah, you just start off as this uh, as girl in a like a sort of park area and. Uh, you find this wee girl. She's she's out late. You've got to try and get her home. <laughs> and, that, and that's pretty much like the the setup. And uh, so it's it's too cold for her. So you give her you give her the scarf. And uh, when she goes into the house, she forgets to give you your scarf back. So you have to go in and get your scarf back. And yeah, that's that's pretty much how the game's set up. It's essentially like a top-down RPG though, like I, when, I, when I was reading about it, it said it was done in RPG Maker, but it doesn't look like the same kind of RPG Maker sort of thing. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's nice and warm now. They need a scarf anyway with that total like frilly bit on the neck. Yeah, so uh, the music's a bit total bizarre as well. It's quite eerie. Fridge Games presents. Sorry about the blurriness, by the way. There was it was only a, like a set resolution, so I had to kind of scale the thing up onto my onto my display. Like if if it were like one to one scale, it's like. It would be <laughs> a little square in the middle of the, the screen here. Why they're walking on the road, I have no idea. <laughs> I like the logo though, that's pretty cool. So the wee girl's name's Cat, apparently. Uh, uh, and that's about all I remember. So I'm going to have to just commentate on like, <laughs> what actually happens. Is this your house? Dot dot dot. Yes, here is fine. Are you sure? Yes. Well then, take care, cat. Goodbye. Hey, my scarf. You must. Like, I was yelling this at the screen. <laughs> While I was playing it, I was like, the scarf! Do you need to get your scarf back? So, uh, yeah. You go into this kind of bizarro house. Enter? I was like, <laughs> Cat? Yeah, that, that freaked me out when I first seen it. I was just like, oh, what is that? And then I clicked on it. It was a wee person with a bandage on their face. That's the the wee person is always the the safe point apparently. So <laughs> this bit's weird. This is <laughs> this is just like strange, and the music as well. Uh, actually, the very f the the original reason that uh, I was initially interested in this game, the the, the first thing that like piqued my interest was uh, the fact that the trailer music the the music for the trailer was the melody for it is totally like from Kingdom Hearts you know the uh, My Sanctuary uh, from Kingdom Hearts 2 it's like it's that tune it's that melody and the person total singing to that tune is singing to that melody and it's just like, whoa, total next to like copyright infringement. <laughs> like as copyright infringing as you can get without actually infringing copyright. So I was like, oh. That piqued my interest and then uh, I added it to my wish list and I seen it was cheap, so I decided to get it. Yeah. This weird two people it's like a baby and like a, a dad with their weird dog face dog 
man face dog, baby face dog. And these seem, at least initially right now, seem to be kinda like, I don't know, kinda, kinda like comic relief kinda stuff, but well, the music kinda does that, and the things that they're talking about kinda do that. Can you tell me its name? Sure. Here, here. Then you can leave. A dog, I think. Ugh. That dog's face is like... Disgusting. Sick in a mirror. Old fashioned bike. Sick in a mirror. And you can save it here. But picture holds still. So, like, I never really got that far into this game, folks. Uh, the, like, essentially. This, this video is going to be over like 17 minutes long and I'm just managed to be able to like get... <laughs> guess it is Roy. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Now shoo, move along. Uh, it's like I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. So... <laughs> so I was just kind of like darting about and like this... The, the whole video is not just this room. Like, like you will, we'll, we'll go other places but like... The puzzle of trying to get out of the basement is kind of where I end it at. Like, when we, when we do manage to figure it out. Uh, yeah, so like, I, I don't know if there's any combat in the game. Because there's no combat in this video. Uh, <laughs> call it dumb. Try again. Uh, nah, the, the, the dog's actually got a name, so yeah. Uh, you got to like you can't just like guess whether it's a man face, baby face thing or what. Uh, but yeah, like I, I don't know how I feel about the game. Like there's something about the way the character walks in particular, just like it was like literally two frames of like. Uh, but everything about the game looks beautiful though. You know what I mean? Like it feel like the visually the graphics in the game look really really nice. Uh, however, the the frames of animation on the character kind of belittle that beauty, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like... It's just, and it just kind of... Hmm. It just kind of weirds me out. I'll take a test tube. Yes, okay. Got a test tube. Okay. Blue chemical. Fill the test tube? Yes. So this is, the, this is the first kind of puzzle. There's red chemical. So it takes me a second to <laughs> takes me a second to sort of click that uh, I've got to pick up the total rest of the test tubes and fill them up as well. Yeah, there you go. I'm get the red stuff now. Yep. There's another one there. Yep. Clever boy. Finally got it. Yep. And then I think, oh well, the colours, like there's a blue thing over the yellow cot, like the dead bird's blue, maybe the blue chemical. And there's like a red chemical with a red sort of aeroplane or whatever, you know? <laughs> Man, it's funny how like watching these videos in retrospect, like when you're when you're looking back on it, you're kind of like, why was I doing that? Like, it's <laughs> like what made me think? Like, I can I can kind of understand what's making me think that. But like, oh, there's a total bird cage here. And I was like, oh, there's a dead bird. Like, maybe I can. No, 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 no. It's weird, and then I then I was like, well, maybe there's a clue in that book. For like, I just kind of like, I just kind of like looked at the book and just never really like thought of what was in it. So, yeah. 
Maybe I can... Hmm... What? Um... Yeah, so the cribs and all that, and it was just kind of... I don't know. What do, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And uh, go back to the book, and the book's like the color of the chemical. It's like to do with the magic. Yeah. So you extract from a rose is the red one, and it's like oh, it's hot. And then I was like oh, no way, it's hot. So there's like a, there's an ice sculpture. But yeah, and this 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 happens as well. Uh, oh, there's an ice sculpture, so I could pour that red chemical on the on the unicorn. Yeah. Yes, picture, please. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful sculpture of a swan. It's like I like the flavor text of it's beautiful as well because. You've got to destroy something beautiful in order to continue. This is kind of like a nice wee juxtaposition -y thing there going on. I'm a bust of someone important. Total nutcracker guy. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts. Someone snapped the neck of the guitar. Record player. Yeah. Church is running by itself. Play film reel, yes. Um, I stupidly didn't pay attention to this here. See, starring Faust as the dog. So the dog's name is Faust. However, I never noticed that the first time. <laughs> so I've got to go all the way back and like watch the watch this recording all over again. And. Uh, <laughs> it's just weird, like, what's going like, I don't understand. And there's that baby thing, uh, it's offering an egg, take the egg, okay, got an egg, I don't know what's going on, and it just vanished out of the projector. What is this? An old bass, its strings are snapped, I don't know. Projector screen. So I was like, well, I've got an egg now. Why is there all. Uh, yeah, by the way, like, see when I clicked on that lamppost indoors, as soon as, I, as soon as I realised there was a lamppost indoors, I was like, why is there a lamppost indoors? And then when I clicked on it, that's what she said. <laughs> no, not that. Not again. No more, please, no more. Okay. Fine, no more. Oh no. <laughs> okay. A dog, I think. And I was like, because I'd never paid attention to what the dog's name was the first time. And just like, baby, because he's got like a baby face. Wrong, 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 wrong. Now shoot, move along. That's like, what did I do? What did I do? And it's my own fault, it's my own damn fault, because uh, I just wasn't paying attention. And uh, yeah, that's me all over. <laughs> so, I'll... Uh, take another trek back here and I'm like, what did I do? I can't figure out what I'm meant to be doing here, what did I do? And yeah, so it's just me being a total idiot and not paying attention that's causing all this extra stuff to happen. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry guys. Sorry for being such a total, like, blind fool. So, like, it's just a mirror. There's nothing else there. 
Hmm, what do you want? Like, I don't... So I go back, I'm like, I must have missed something. I had to have missed something. And then it comes to like my attention that I've probably missed something in the video, and then it was like, oh, Faust as the dog, what a total idiot. <laughs> I like the how happy the meat is there as well. <laughs> understand. Like, why is that... F <laughs> why is the face transporting itself? Like, I don't get... I don't understand that. Like... Like, it went from the dog to the kid to the total adult. Like... <laughs> what? Why is the face moving about? So I was like, right, Faust the dog, Faust, that's it, Faust. I know what to do. It's Faust. <laughs> so what do I think about the game? I think it's interesting. Um, like, I probably will play more of it, but like, again, this is as far as I got, and it was like, the, I don't know where the combat was going and all that, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, like... I don't know. It's like I like I like the visual style of it though. Like you can tell it's been carefully crafted, you know. So we've got to we've got to do them another favor now, even though they said we've got to figure out the name of the dog. Yeah, and that, this is where I ended it, folks. So. Uh, yeah, that was a uh, stray cat crossing, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.